I tilted slightly or my star? I was messing with my camera this morning and I can't tell if I'm like tilted or not. But welcome, welcome. I'm going live again. Special edition. I know I went live uh, just a couple months ago. We were talking about the newly released Magical Stitches. It's really, really cool to see some knit stitches be able to be converted to crochet in a very easy way. We're not talking hard. We're not talking short rows and a billion short rows and turning and slip stitching everything. These are really, really simple to do. But this time I am back with a special holiday edition. Of course, I love making stockings. As you know, I have so many at my house. Don't care. Going to keep making them. Going to keep doing more because I love them so much. They're quick and easy projects and they really add to the cozy home decor over the holidays. So I wanted to jump on here. I released an email this morning. Um, I did a couple quick posts last night. If you haven't heard, I just released a brand new course I'm really excited about. It is the Magical Stitches Holiday Edition. So we're going to talk about what this is and what you're getting for a limited time on a special promo pricing that has a ticker on, on, on the sales page to let you know how much time you have left to get in on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what these are. Um, I'm going to switch camera modes here for a second. So, oh, that's bright. That is blowing that out. Sorry about that. It's, sometimes it's hard with the white on the screen. I'm going to have to adjust my lighting here. My camera must not be automatically doing it for me. But these are the stockings for the Magical Stitches. I am super excited for these. Um, the stitches are so much fun. These are really, really cool stitches to learn, to do, to play with. Um, I do have some favorites here but I think they are all really fun to work up. Now, these are stitches that you may notice at one point, you've seen these before in knit, but this is not knit. This is crochet, 100% crochet. Um, and I'm going to have people ask me how my stockings like the perfect shape. I will tell you, I get so many Amazon boxes this time of year and I do not fill my stockings until Christmas Eve because my little ones will get into it. They're very, very snoopy now that they're a little bit older. So when I had all these Amazon boxes we needed to recycle, I thought, why not just quickly out of cardboard, cut out the shape and then they look so nice. You can do this to any stocking. It's a quick and easy hack to have them look really nice as they're hanging by the fire in like the perfect shape. Just take some of those cardboard boxes that show up on your front door, lay the stocking on top of it, just trace slightly outside and then put your stocking over that piece of cardboard. Really easy to do. And I love the way that it looks, especially for these because it pops those stitches. But as you can see, I, I don't know if my camera angle will change here to focus, but I really love these stitches. They're absolutely fantastic. You're going to want to learn them. And of course, I'm going to walk you through some video tutorials. And I just want to let you know, I have some new stitch charts in here. Um, a good friend, Marley Bird, when I was chatting with her in line at Disney, she visited me recently. Um, we were talking about, um, just, you know, as a designer, we're always wondering what's the best way to map stitches because it is hard to do. <laughs> There's not a program I think that is really robust for crochet yet. But as we were talking about knit mapping through stitch maps, I thought, oh my gosh, I think I can make that work for magical stitches because we're converting a lot of these stitches. So these um, charts, I love them. I've got them mapped out in columns and rows. Um, it's really, really fun to see this happen in a new way. And I hope that these are very beneficial. I think they're easier to follow than what I was doing before. So I thought I would go for it and try it and see what you thought. So I want to show you here. Um, I'm going to put this on screen what this is. So this is the uh, Magical Stitches Holiday Edition. My screen will go big here. Um, you'll notice at the top here, I've got the um, ticker going on. So that way you know when this sale is going to end. Um, these are the stockings. These are the four stockings. We're going to talk more about those in a minute. But I also have some extra bonuses. Of course, we've got some bonuses going on here that are in the course ready for you to do. They're all released inside of there. Um, this is a brand new, never before seen blanket pattern here. It is a lot of fun. This is the, the prancing all the way blanket. It's with really chunky yarn from Mary Maxim and it works out pretty quick. Um, the holidays, I want to stress this. The holidays are for creating, not stressing. So here's the thing. When it comes to working these, these courses, the number one thing I want you to remember is to not stress. We do not want to be stressing here. 
um, this is unlimited access. You have access to this course at any point that you want to work on it. So it is great to get it now on the sale price, and then you can work on it whenever you want to work on it. It is unlimited access. So you can always make the stockings for next year. If you don't have time this year, you can make them for next year. Um, then we're going to go scroll down here. And this is talking about what this is. If you have a moment, you don't have to, but if you have a moment, I feel very proud of like putting together this promo video. <laughs> it's just, I love being creative and sometimes, sometimes I'm not just creative with yarn, but I have really fun doing some video editing. It's probably not as good as I think it is, but I think it's kind of a really cute video with some music. Um, so this talks about what this is, what you're getting. Everything has a video tutorial, of course, for the stockings. And we're going to walk through the stitches. We're going to, we're going to make sure that you have a really good grasp on the split single crochet in order to do some of these stitches in here. Now there's a lot more chaining with these than there were before. If you did magical stitches, I want to go a bit more lacy. So I wanted to see what that, um, you know, lace effect would be more. So I wanted to explore that. So it's um, fun to do it that way. Um, then we have, I'm going to scroll down here, our community support. And once again, it can be done on your time. So you can see more images of the stockings, what people said about magical stitches. Um, if you have any questions, this will probably cover. If you, if you have questions that are not on this page, please feel free to reach out to me. This is what we are getting in this course. And I do, I, I just want to say there is another surprise coming tomorrow that you'll get if you buy it today. I'm going to be announcing it with Hannah from Hand Jan Crochet. So we're going to talk more about that tomorrow. Um, but this is an amazing holiday price with that extra bonus cheer. And the price will go up when that ticker counts down at the top of this page. Um, here's more questions if you're not sure what a course is or how to get into it. Um, satisfaction guaranteed. And then if you want to, at checkout, I've put together a really cool ebook collection of all my holiday pillows. Who knew I had done so many holiday pillows? Um, if you want to grab those in a really pretty um, ebook, that's also available at checkout. And then right below here, in case you were wondering, there's also some more questions answered. If you're just not sure what a course is, it might be answered there. Or you can just comment, reach out to me. Um, I always love chatting about crochet, obviously. I love it so much. Um, let me turn this. Oops turn this off for a second, come back here. Um, the holidays are my favorite time of year. This time of year, even though we don't get snow here in Florida and it's just super, super green outside. I love the lights. I love the holiday cheer. And especially as like the darkness comes in the evenings, which is much earlier now, I love decorating the inside of my house to make it feel like a winter wonderland and super cozy and nice. And I feel like the stockings by the fire are definitely what do it for me. So I will always be making stockings. I'm addicted to them. But these ones I'm especially proud of. They have that, you just that classic holiday look. You can always do your toe, your heel, and your cuff a different color. And you can, you know, pick the color tones that match your Christmas decor. I know a lot of people, I, I have a tree that's more of like a, a pink, orange, and red. It sounds weird, but it's really, really pretty. Um, so if you wanted to make them to match your theme, you can just choose a different yarn. So the yarn I used for this is the Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK. Um, I really enjoyed working with it. They have a lot of new colors. If you've worked with this yarn before, they have new colors in this line. So it was really fun to work up with some new colors too. And I really feel like these went really well together. I like how they paired as that classic holiday look. So it's a ton of fun there too. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning from California. I'm so glad you're excited for these stockings. Um, so the one other thing I want to mention, I'm just dropping in real quick today, and then I'll be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going live with Hannah from Hand Jan Crochet, and we both launched something really fun. She did an email announcement this morning about her baubles, so definitely check that out. I did an email announcement this morning about the Magical Stitches Holiday Edition. Um, tomorrow, Hannah and I have decided to go live together at 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time because we have an extra special announcement about each of our festive holiday launches. So we thought it'd be fun to do that together. So don't miss that. But if you buy now, lock in that price, you are going to get what we're announcing tomorrow. So it'd be a really, really fun surprise that will happen. So if you don't want to miss it, you'll know what it is. We'll send out emails. We'll be going live about it, but purchase now and you will be getting that extra 
thing we're announcing tomorrow. Um, oh, I'm so excited you're excited for it. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I had a quick chat with Hannah today, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go live with Hannah. I love her. I love going live with her. It's just more fun than going live by yourself, which is why I'm not like staying on too long today. I have a few more things I want to do for this, this special thing tomorrow. Um, snow this morning from Eastern Washington. Wow. Two hour, two hour delay at school. So I grew up where there was snow, a lot of snow is in Idaho. And I have to say, I don't really miss it. And I thought when we moved to Florida, it'd be kind of like, oh, wow, our, our kids are never going to explore or, you know, experience snow days. Cause when I was young, I loved, loved snow days. I loved when we like sat by the radio and waited to see if our school was canceled. And if it's canceled, you were just like so excited. Um, but here in Florida, we have hurricane days. So <laughs> my kids, I think have six makeup days this year for hurricanes, which is not really that fun. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather take a snowstorm over a hurricane sometimes. Um, but enjoy that new snow, even though you had a two hour delay at school. Sorry about that. I'm sure that made for a chaotic morning. Um, enjoy that new snow. It's kind of nice sometimes. It's it's really, really pretty. And there's something just so romantic and magical about those first snowfalls, especially around the holidays. Um, maybe that's why I love the holidays. I used to do a lot of cross stitching as um, when I was in high school. And I loved when it was just snowing outside and I had my crafts and I was cozied up in the basement by the fire. And I could watch like, you know, the Christmas movies and just craft, which is why these happened. I, I just I wasn't sure if I really wanted to make more stockings. And then just one evening, I was like, no, 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 I do. Like I always do. It's more like, do we need more stockings? And then I'm like, yeah, 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 we do. Um, these were so fun to do. I, I just, yeah, I love it. So even if you are like, oh, Brianna, I cannot fit any more holiday crafting in. My schedule is tight. My schedule is busy. I've got other stuff I'm doing. You have unlimited access to this course. So you could always make them for next year or even the year after. You could just make one, make a gift. Um, you have unlimited access to this course. So even if you can't start it today, get the pricing of today and you can start it whenever you're ready to do so. So with this, you will get these four stockings, which are worked in a unique way, which is really fun. I've tried to make them as easy and streamlined as possible to where they are all the same stitch count in the rounds. So you're going to make the toes will all have the same stitch count. The heels and the cuffs will all be worked the exact same way. That way, it's just making it quicker and easier for you to, to make more than one if you wanted to bust it out. And then I have tutorials for each one of these stitches, and um, they work out pretty quick, to be honest. I mean, I busted these out so fast. Um, and I love this one. You may have seen a similar stitch to this with my magical stitches, but I added some cute, well, I just love what I did. I added some bobbles into it. I've seen it before in knit and I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to do that in crochet. And then all of these are completely amazing and new. I really did just translate. It, it takes a few tries sometimes to get it just right, but I really did just translate some knit stitches to crochet. This one's super fun because it reminds me of a candy cane the way it kind of swirls. And I kept these all really simple, making them one solid color. But once again, you can always do different colors, different cuffs, different heels and stuff like that. And then this one, I absolutely adore. I'm just loving translating these knit stitches. It's like, it's a, it's really the first time I've been super, super happy with it. Like I've come close with some other techniques, but this technique in order to get some brand new crochet stitches. Now I am translating some knit looks to crochet, but they're not exactly the same. These being done in crochet, I feel like make a better fabric for stockings than a knit fabric would be. And I really like making this, these like laces effect. So while they are a translation, they're not exactly the same. They're a new thing to, to crochet and to anything really. These stitches are so, so fun to work up. And while they mimic it, it's a different fabric. We're creating a different type of fabric because we're using a crochet hook. So while it's a mimic, it's not exactly the same. It's unique to itself, which is a really fun thing to explore. So if you didn't jump into magical stitches, I've been asked um, last night this a couple of times. It's like, if you miss the first course, are you going to understand this course? The answer is you can understand this course, even if you didn't take the last one. Um, I've got enough instructions and tips and tricks in here 
that if you haven't jumped into the main magical stitches yet, but you want to jump into this one, go ahead. You can do this one first. I bet you'll probably come back to the magical stitches one because you'll get addicted and it's so much fun. But this one um, is, yeah, you can jump right in at any point. As far as skill level, I've got a lot of videos in there to help you out. Um, these are pretty quick projects and we have community support and you can ask me questions at any time. Thank you so much for that. Um, I try my best to like bring new things and awesome designs because I really do want to inspire people to pick up their crochet hooks. Um, I love that you love the course. I've, I'm still having so much fun with these stitches. I still have more coming, but I, I am working on something in the spring, but I push pause on it because I'm like, oh, the holidays. I have to do something for the holidays. It's so much fun. So along with these four stockings, which these are put together in an ebook if you want to download it all at once inside the course. So you can still get that PDF if you're on the go. Like if you're traveling to the in-laws, <laughs> which good luck. But if you are traveling to the in-laws this year, of course, you're going to want to take some yarn with you. And if you're going through some places where you're just not going to have internet to get into the course, that's okay. Because I've also included an ebook download as well as in each individual stocking section module, there will be um, a download for each one individually as well. So you could print and go. That way, if you don't have internet, because I know sometimes like, especially if you're traveling or if you're like me and sometimes your internet company just isn't nice and it goes out, you still want to be able to crochet so you can download those PDFs. This also comes with these mini, oh, I should have grabbed them. These mini gift card stockings. That pattern is in there. It's also on my blog, but I put the pattern in the videos and the download inside the course. That way you have it. And they were a huge hit last year. They were a huge hit with the teachers. I actually had the principal stop me. I did a teach-in where I went into the classroom. And I taught kids about crochet. Shockingly, they were really, really into it more than I thought. I really more talked about fiber. But she said that she still has that stocking, the gift card stocking I made last year for all the teachers and the principal. And I stuck like, you know, Starbucks gift cards into it. It's just a better way. Like everyone loves gift cards, but giving them feels so impersonal. So by making those cute little gift card stockings, and those are in the course, um, it's quick, easy. You're going to learn the split single crochet stitch. It's a great way to practice on a very small project. And then you can give them as gifts and it really makes it like more personal and nice when you're giving gift cards. Um, yeah, the in-law comment. I know it's just, I know, sometimes the holidays can be stressful with like everything going on, right? Um, so that's in there. But then if you like that little stocking, I've also included that as a larger normal size stocking. So there's another stocking pattern in it that's, that's very classic and really cute. You'll have to go see that. And then also a brand new, never before seen blanket pattern is in there. It's prancing all the way with these reindeers. It's really cute. I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to see if I can get this back up here. Oh, I'm going to show you what the course looks like because I feel like when it comes to like these type of things, it's kind of like, Hey, Brianna, like, what does it look like? You want to know what it looks like before purchasing. And I totally get that. So this is what the course looks like when you purchase and you log in on the left hand side here. Um, we've got this menu. It's a great menu. Everything's organized. That's the nice thing. You don't have to organize any, anything, everything, all the tutorials are organized on the left hand side. So this is all the things within the course right now. Hint, hint, something else might be coming. So you're going to want to jump on this deal. Um, so this is everything in there. And then this is, that's the blanket pattern. So this is the blanket that's in here also has a PDF download, but there's something really cool about this one. And that is that it also includes an interactive chart. Should you want to use it? Um, I use a program called stitch fiddle to build a lot of my charts. And there is a way I found out I discovered this year for me to share that interactive part with you so that you can, if you like to work from your phone or a laptop or something, you can keep track of what row you're on digitally, which is really, really fun to do as well. And that, and the instructions for that are also included in this course. And I was like, here's the chart instructions. Um, I think I have a video in there that talks about it. So um, this is the entire course for now. Um, it's only limited time sale, then the price will go up when this promo period is over. But there's also going to be some fun things. Join me tomorrow at 10 a.m. with Hannah of Hand Jan Crochet. And we're going to be talking about some even more fun things that are coming and happening 
with my release and also her release with her baubles, which are so cute. If you haven't seen them, you have to go check out her baubles. They're so cute. It's kind of fun. Like I, I, like months ago, I can't say that Hannah and I actually planned to release at the same time. We were just like, I knew she was building baubles. She knew I was like working on stockings and we're like, hopefully this happens. Life is so busy this time of year. And then it turns out this week we're releasing on the same day, which is so fun. And so of course we're like, oh, we have to go live together. But it's, it's, this is what I love about this industry. It's like so many designers, they're just so nice. They're just so amazing. And I love being able to work with them and cheer them on and um, come together. Like we're both releasing at the same time. So then we're like, let's plan something super special together. Even though we're releasing our own individual products, we just, we love, we love hanging out. It's so much fun to hang out with crochet friends. I mean, I'm sure you agree. Um, so this is what, see, I made your royal antler Oh, bag in the gingerbread brown and cream for a Christmas gift. Oh my gosh. I have to see that. You have to share that in the uh, Brianna K community. Um, it looks like a frosted gingerbread bag. I love that. I love that you love the stitches. If you haven't seen the Royal Antler bag, it's cool. But now I really want to, I may have seen it. I want to see this in the gingerbread brown and cream. Um, that's an awesome gift. Like, go oh, you, whoever you're giving it to, you must really, really love. That's amazing. Um, so excited. I, I have been so thrilled about the feedback for the original Magical Stitches course. So um, it really motivated me to do something festive for the holidays and bring out some brand new stitch patterns. There's so many that I have in my head. I'm like, oh, I want to bring four out right away. Um, so these are all brand new from um, the Magical Stitches course. These are brand new ones. This one's modified to be a new stitch. And these are like completely brand new. So you can keep exploring there's so much fun to do. And it's like amazing the way that it works up and you're not working short rows. And I really, if someone had handed me this, I really would have thought these were knit and I love new stitches. I love new stitch combinations, something that looks new in crochet, but I also love something that's not super hard. <laughs> I don't want to do something that's hard or has a ton of short rows and turning and keeping track of a million different things. Um, cause I've seen some really cool, uh, new crochet stitches this year using short rows to do, um, kind of a knit mimic. And I just, I've worked them up before I almost released a hat, but it took forever. And the instructions were so intense that even I was like, I don't know so that. And then it motivated me to do this. Cause I like just, this has worked in the round. Like you're just working from toe up. You're going to start the toe, work the stitch in the round, skip some stitches for the heel, and then keep on going. You're going to come back and work the heel later. You're going to keep going up to the top. Do this single crochet ribbing um, up top and then come back and do the heel. I also have a tutorial in there if you like these, which I, I think this is might be real leather. It might be faux leather. I don't know. When I'm at the craft store, a lot of the craft stores, if you go down the aisle that has like the leather making tools, they have these bags of scraps and you can just like grab a coupon, buy a bag of scraps, and then you can make these. So I have a tutorial in the course on how to make these, these tabs. If you want, you can also, I have instructions to crochet an I cord, but I just, I thought like these tabs are, I don't know. I like them. They're, there's just something about them. I always like, so I have that in there as well. So jump on this deal. It's a limited time. Um, for this release promo, we're going to be doing some fun stuff over the next week or so the next five days, I think, and join me tomorrow again at 10 AM. And we are going to be joined by my really good friend, Hannah from hand Jan crochet, and it's going to be a ton of fun. So the link for this is in the, um, title of this, and I'll also throw it into the comments. So you have the link to jump on over there and grab this brand new course while it's on this amazing deal. So I will see you tomorrow and I hope you 